In this video, I'll show you just how passive income from self-publishing books on Amazon can be. What's going on guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I talk about how to make money online, self-publishing books on Amazon, entrepreneurship, and building passive income streams. So if you're interested in those kind of stuff, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So in this video, I wanna talk about how passive self-publishing can be in the sense where is it really passive income? You know, is it really you publish once and if it's going to keep making money months and months or years and years after you do so? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revisit a few of my books that I published from years ago. I'm going to try and find books that uh, it was one of my first few books that I published and see if it's still making money, if it's absolutely dead, uh, see how they're performing. So let's get right into the video. All right, so we are in my KDP account right now. Just a couple caveat is that I started publishing uh, around October 2016. However, as you can see here, there's barely any information or data uh, during that period, just because they used to have KDP and also CreateSpace where we uploaded our paperback books. Around this period, I think uh, exactly November 2018 or so, is when KDP and CreateSpace merged so that you know everything can be done from KDP alone. And uh, now we have better reporting obviously from there. But I did start publishing uh, from October 2016 and we might have data for during that period up to 2018, even though I had the book you know published beforehand. But this is my KDP dashboard. As you can see, that's the total royalty here. And I'm going to show you a couple of my books from my very earlier days in publishing. I can't show you the title because I don't want anybody to be discovering my pen name or my keyword, but I'll show you everything else in terms of performance. All right, so this is the first book that we have. Um, I think this was one of my first books. I think it was my 10th book or something like that. I initially uploaded this in uh, September 2017, as you can see, and obviously, you know, Create Space wasn't merged, so I'm not sure how accurate this data is. But uh, this video is more so to show how consistent a book sales can be. It's not about you know how much I made or anything like that. It's more so showing consistency. So, so you can see that it is pretty consistent every single month, and uh, it's probably doing around fifty dollars to a hundred dollars a month for years and years, as you can see, and this is on KDP side. So ACX, it could be doing, you know, a little more. All right, book number two, we have this one where I published in April, 2018. And you can see that again, it's very, very consistent. You know, the camp read is a little lower, but this one is doing probably 13 paperback a month, barely no ebook. So that's, around $80 or so. Uh, my average royalty for a paperback is around $6.3 or something like that, uh, or sometimes $7 depending on the book. So yeah, that's around $70 to $80 per month. And I'll show you the ACX version because this one's actually killing it on ACX. Uh, it still sells pretty consistently. As you can see, the published date is May 2018 here. And uh, it's sold overall 6,985 units, um, which this is a one hour long book. So it's around a dollar and 80 cents per sale. Um, so that's, I don't know, maybe $8,000 or so uh, in total that uh, we made from this book. All right, book number three is this one. So you can see that I've launched it on January, 2019. And uh, after the launch, it has been selling pretty consistently. One thing to note is that this is a bundle book. So the price is higher, royalty is higher. And uh, it costed me about $50 to make the book. I don't run as. Um, and so yeah, super cheap. Everything is pure profit. In history, basically it made $16,000, at least from the US side that we can see. Um, I don't know how much the other currency is gonna equate to, but that's just from KDP. ACX isn't really good for this book uh, because it's just not a ACX keyword, 
or ACX strong keyword, I would say. Um, but just from KDP, it's been very consistent, a uh, few hundred dollars a month, every single month for years and years. All right, book number four is this one right here, initially published in October 2017. So just a few months after I got started with self-publishing. And you can see that the sales is slowly going down over time. However, it is uh, still selling. So after almost four years, it is still selling to this date, you know, provided that it is less sales than before. But the point is that it is still selling and making me at least something. So um, this is making me about $10 a month or so, at least based on the past few months. Uh, but in April, it had five paperback sales. So that's $30 or so. So in this month, it made about $40. And again, this is just for KDP. Uh, I'll show you what it did for ACX. So this is the ACX total unit sales uh, for this book. So I don't know how much it's doing per month basis, but for total, it did 2,652 unit sales so far. So that's around $4,000 or so, or maybe a little more. All right, we have book number five here. And this one we published initially in August, 2017. And uh, since then, you know, it's, as you can see, it's slowing down for sure, but it is still selling something uh, every single month. So last month it made one ebook sales. So just $2 uh, before that it made two ebook sales so around $4 royalty. And uh, in April it did one paperback and one ebook so that's maybe eight dollars royalty so you know nothing great and obviously it's slowing down however the great thing about publishing is as you can see you know it'll sit on amazon forever so once you publish and once you do the work obviously you're moving on to the next book so unless you're running as you really don't have to spend any time on managing or maintaining or you know even shipping and handling because amazon does all of that for you so you just publish and forget about it and you just keep getting you know passive income checks like this um so it's really really amazing in that sense and the more books you have in your portfolio obviously it could be two dollars from this book it could be twenty dollars from another book it could be fifty dollars from the other book and a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars from this book and you know it's not a lot per book, but it adds up if you have a lot of books in your portfolio. So you don't want to spam bad quality books. Of course, uh, you want to slowly build up your portfolio of quality books. Um, but if you do have that, you know, it can really add up and it just shows you how powerful a compound effect it can be. And if you're curious, this is the ACX sales for that book, the last one. So 2,341 units. That's going to come out to around maybe 4,000, a little less than $4,000, I would say. Uh, just because all of the books that I've showed you, except for that one bundle book, is a uh, 10,000 word book, which equates to around one hour long on the audio side. So the royalties isn't as high as it can be for a three hour long book. Um, back in the day, I didn't know about three hour long audiobooks being the best length for, you know, audiobooks. So obviously I didn't maximize my books in that way. So what's funny is I'm actually trying to find titles that is absolutely dead, but most of them are just like this. It's at least selling a couple sales here and there. Uh, there are very few books that are absolutely dead. I'm pretty sure I can find it right after this. Um, but most of the titles, you know, even if it doesn't do good on KDP, it can do very well on ACX or it can do very well on draft to digital when you upload it. So um, I really like publishing in the sense that if you're trying to make passive income, I think it's as close to real passive income as it can be. All right. So I did find one book that is kind of dead. Um, this book, you can see that it hasn't made any sales, at least on the paperback side for a good half a year or so. One thing to let you know is that uh, this book is actually doing really well as a Spanish version. So this is the English version. Um, it's not doing good at all, but when I translated this into Spanish, it blew up. So it's making hundreds of dollars a month on KDP. And when I uploaded it on Ingram Spark, it is my best selling Ingram Spark book at the moment. So it's also doing around a couple hundred bucks 
uh, a month just from Ingram Spark. So again, you really never know, you know, which book will take off or not. Having a lot of book does help, but you don't want to compromise quality when you're trying to publish a lot of books. So just keep that in mind. Um, overall, it's amazing how passive self-publishing can be. So a quick video, but hopefully it was interesting to you to see how passive it can be. You know, not all books do this well, obviously. Some books definitely slow down, but pretty much all of the books still sell, you know, something here and there. Sometimes it doesn't sell on KDP, but it does really well on ACX. And sometimes it doesn't do well on KDP or ACX, but it does really good on draft to digital or Ingram Spark or somewhere else like Final Wave Voices. So, so you really never know. And sometimes it doesn't do anything for years on all platforms. And then all of a sudden it blows up. And it's really crazy when that happens, but it does happen. So again, you really never know, you know, you just got to keep publishing and got to keep adding more books into your portfolio. The main thing though, when you're publishing books for passive income is you cannot ignore SEO. If you don't have keywords in your title, nobody will ever discover it okay amazon is a little easier to be discovered because you can run as but in case you want to upload your book to other channels like draft to digital or ingram spark if you don't focus on seo and if you don't have keywords in your title you will never be discovered and you will not have the same consistency and same passive income effect that i have Okay, so just keep in mind, if you want to build passive income, you have to focus on SEO. You have to do proper keyword research. And I do have videos for that if you want to check it out. So I have a free step-by-step self-publishing course. The link is in the description as well as all of the tools and resources that I use in my self-publishing business. I am also coming up with a paid publishing course. If you're interested in that, you can sign up to the wait list also in the description below. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video.